Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is episode one of my new gameplay series on Chellington Valley. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, so I didn't know, gosh, this is kind of a spur of the moment thing. I don't know how long this series is gonna last, my idea is this series will probably be just a short series, depending on how successful it is or how well you guys like it. Uh, if you guys love it, I'll keep going with it. But uh, yeah, so we're, what we're going to do, this is just a very laid back series. This is very relaxed. There's not going to be any role play on here. There's just farming. We're just going to go with it. There's not going to be a storyline. We're just here to farm. Now, again, I'm not going to say that there'll never be a storyline or we'll never do anything else. Um, I don't know. Uh, it might change. I might do 10 episodes kind of like this, and then the series might evolve depending on what you guys want, but we'll kind of see how it goes. Um, I'm not normally someone who would like to run three gameplay series at once, but uh, hopefully I can keep this one simple enough, and I think I should be able to, where there's not a ton of uh, off-camera stuff that has to be done, so it can still maintain uh, being manageable. But uh, yeah, so... What's going to make this series different? Well, for one, we're in new farmer mode. That's what we're starting with. We're starting with that land and that equipment. That's just the way it is. That's what we're going to start with. Um, number two, I'm not going to run any mods in this game. I'm not going to. I, that might change later, but as of now, first several episodes at a minimum, and I plan to keep it that way. Um, several of you have asked me to not to run a gameplay where I don't use any mods, so here you go. Now, I mean, I say no mods. There's a few. Obviously, for one, Chellington Valley is a modded map, so that that mod is in here. We're running that mod, obviously. Um, a couple other ones I'm going to run. Um, one is Disable Vehicle Camera Collision. That's pretty self-explanatory. It's just to make it so it's a little bit easier for recording purposes. The camera doesn't jump around as much. So I'm going to keep that one in. The other one is the F11 menu. I'm not going to use it to cheat money or anything crazy like that. I mostly use this because I can go in here and turn everything off and I can fly around and I can take thumbnail photos if I want to. So that's what I mostly use that for. So I'm, I am going to run that mod, um, but uh, it'll mostly be just used again for thumbnail stuff. So that one's going to be ran. I'm actually going to slow the, uh, the clock down a little bit. Actually, I'll probably run it five times. We'll probably just keep it at five. That'll be a good speed to go at. Um, I'm also going to run the workshop tabber, which is fantastic. So if you're at a workshop, you don't have to just have one thing at the workshop. You can tab through various things that are in its trigger range, which I think that's reasonable. And I also have all the giants DLCs. So such as like if I go, oh gosh, if I go under bailing technology, it's got a ton of stuff in it. Like for example, if I go into here, I have the Anderson group pack, the Alpine farming pack. Those ones are in here. Um, the Kloss pack, the Cavertalin pack, all the, the giants DLCs are in here. What are these? Oh, these are these are into the map already. <laughs> and and of course, obviously, whatever's in the map. Um, so yeah, I should be able to do a lot of different fun stuff. There's a lot of different crops on here, so I'm excited to experiment with what we got going on. But we're here on the the starting farm. We don't start with any animals, right? Nope. And we might we could do animals. We got animals built into here. We can do whatever we want. I still want to take suggestions down in the comments of what you guys think I should do. If you guys are gonna like this series, if you're gonna hate it. We'll just kind of have to see how it goes. But I'm hoping to get this out the day after the map comes out. Um, and if you were looking for Willamina Forest today, it's going to come out tomorrow. I'm not just giving up on that series. All my other series are still going to go as scheduled. I'm just adding this one in because some of you wanted to see more gameplay. So here you go. Um, we do own these three fields, which this one has. Don't tell me. Oh, barley. Okay, as so I say, don't tell me it has potatoes in it. Um, <laughs> that'd be just a mean thing to do to someone <laughs> starting out. Um, okay, well that needs to be harvested, but let's take a look. So we have some equipment around here. Um, if we go into the garage, what do we have in here? We do have a good harvester in here. We have a pickup truck. We've got a fair amount of equipment. We got what we need to start off with. We have a we have a mower. We have a baler. We're we're set. We can uh, if we go into the map as well. We own the BGA. It comes in this plot that costs zero dollars. So we own the BGA. Um, well, basically, I mean, it just allows us the ability to use it. So we could sell some silage bales or do some of that. Um, but yeah, so there's so many different things. So I definitely want to grow a lot of the stuff that's in here I'm not gonna grow horse grass or some of that stuff um, Like we'll probably do alfalfa bales. We'll do some spelt some millet triticole. We'll do uh, Lindsay we'll try that out. We'll do miscanthus onions carrots. We'll see how it goes But let's get that barley field harvested. And that's our first goal here um, since we can do that this up and i'm actually going to turn up my walking speed if you guys don't want me to do that because you think it's too cheaty or it's a mod that you don't want me to use let me know but again the goal of this series is to keep it very basic and to 
keep it very simplified so i'm not checking any mods every, in into it every day or anything like that i mean not to get to check them in every time you go into a game save but oh here we go and it's already on a header trailer for us we probably are going to need that so the header trailer that is so let's go ahead and grab that there is a potential that i might want to add course play in but i'm going to try to run without it for now i don't really have an issue doing the headlands and then having a worker do the center or even me doing the whole thing i'm not too bothered by that does that that on the right there that heads out the road here it looks like See if we can't head out there without causing too many collisions again it's not a farmer cop video without a crash and this is no exception Ooh, perfect okay yep this takes us out to the road i probably need to have that mini map on just for my sake yes our <laughs> we have some big fields uh we start off with plenty of land in here um, so yeah, we'll get going on this. I don't know what the thumbnail or anything is going to be. I don't know how this series is going to go. I don't know how long the episodes are going to be or any of that. We're just getting on here. We're going to do some farming. We're going to have a good time. We're going to relax and just enjoy it. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I haven't done this kind of a very regular series in a long time. I guess, I mean, No Man's Land started off kind of like this where I started a new farmer mode and everything like that. And goodness gracious, we have contracts we can do. I haven't had a map that I played on with you guys where I could do contracts in forever. Failing fertilizing. We might look into doing some of those. What's fertilizing? 99. Where's field 99? If it's way down here, yeah. I'm probably not going to go get it if it's going to be that far away. 98. 97. <laughs> 99. Where are you at? <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, 100. 99. There you are. Jeez, right in front of me. Good gravy. That's not too big, but uh, what does that got? Sugar beets in it, looks like? Yeah, sugar beets. But yeah, we'll see if we can't plant our other fields with some other grain crops and kind of look into some of those so i'm, I'm pretty excited about this honestly I'm, I'm excited it's something new it's it's exciting even if it's going to be a, just a basic series i'm not going to drive through hedges if i can avoid it i'll try to stay as kind of semi-realistic i mean i'm not a realistic player i mean let's be honest but uh i'll try to do my best to kind of keep it the way i'm doing now but uh yeah and again i'm open to suggestions let me know what you guys want to see or have changed in it if you guys think it's ridiculous i'm not running any mods let me know but i kind of like the feel of it it's just going to keep it a little bit simplified for now where is this guy going to go he's going that way beautiful beautiful all right we'll keep going i don't know how to get into field three so we'll see how to get field two is right through there does field two have something in it um field two where are you at you don't have any crops in you do you you're just plowed aren't you yet yeah, plowed okay yeah Oh, yeah, I can see that it's plowed through there now. I'll say it's kind of hard to see through that, but. Uh... Yeah, so again, I no idea where this is going to go. No idea. This could be it could be five episodes and then I call it quits. We'll just kind of have to play it by ear. But where in the world? Oh, there's the gate to that field. Uh Oh, um, oh, we can probably turn around in this guy's yard up here. <laughs> I know I can drive right through the hedges, but I'm going to try not to do that if I can. I just some people really get uh, irritated about that. Oh, here, look, we can probably turn around in here. I mean, I don't know about with the trailer, but we'll see how it goes. Eh, we're a little in the hedges there. Sorry, guys. Oh, boy. So, oh, boop. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is this is almost maybe worse than driving through the hedges. Oh, gosh. <laughs> we're stuck. Well, this is uh, this is the series, and this is where the series ends right here is us getting the combines. Don't hit. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Can't you see we're we're trying to crash here? All right, well, we just got to run this car over. I'm sorry. Okay, it's like nothing happened. Just don't look behind you. Wow, actually, I'm surprised we didn't lose that header. I'm honestly shocked. But, uh, okay, well, and let's, let's actually take a look in here. Um, I'm going to turn weeds off, I think, actually, for this series. I'm going to turn autosave off, too, because I hate it. Um, plant growth, we'll, leave, we'll put that on normal so it doesn't seem crazy. We'll leave that off. We'll leave that on. We'll leave that on. That'll be a good thing to have on. Lime, we'll do lime as well. We'll just keep weeds off, I think, for this series. I think that'll be good. Um, and let me go ahead and title this one. Gameplay. Beautiful. We'll go ahead and save the game right there. We might as well. We're getting started on it. Now we're committed. That's a game save. We can't not do it now. All right, let's get into here. I haven't played on a map similar to this um, since Sandy Bay, which is another one of Austin and David's maps, actually. So... Fantastic. Let's go ahead and at least this field is uh, plowed, so we can kind of drive through it here. I do need to get a tractor out here seeding this. We'll see if we can't get the harvester rolling, though. There we go. Perfect. Fantastic. Okay. 
I might tell some police stories as we go through this as well. I mean, you guys enjoy having that in the series. Um, let me know if you want me to do that or not. Uh, again, in the comments, I need lots of help from you guys. Is this going to fit through the gate with the header on? We will see how this goes. This is already... We'll see how it goes. And I'm kind of have to... It's going to be kind of fun for me, too. I have to adjust my mindset to, like, a smaller farm... Okay, that's this is a bad idea. To a smaller farm uh, mindset, since I was always on kind of that... A lot of the farms I have right now are all kind of bigger. Oh, geez, don't move around like that. Um, let's try to get this on here. This is actually the same harvester I think I ended with on uh, Sandy Bay as well. All right. Beautiful. Don't fall off of there. Please don't fall off of there. For the love of goodness, stay on there. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Well, uh, we'll get to harvest in this field by the end of this episode. So we'll give us about 40 minutes. We'll get into harvest in this field here. I don't know how we're going to get in there without destroying something. There's, yeah, there's fences down there, bushes all along here. Are these cuttable hedges? Can I cut these? <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, okay, this is... I mean, I don't see how we're going to be able to do it without destroying part of the crop, which is, it's just going to have to be what it is. Uh, maybe we can try to destroy less of the crop, though. This is definitely a tight area here. All right, don't get caught up on there. Beautiful. Okay, well, we'll start with that, and then once we get more of it harvested, then we uh, we can adjust this stuff on the sidelines as needed. Let's get this guy start unfolding this guy here. There we go. All right, let's get this going. Fantastic, getting barley in here. Look at that texture. This is a new texture for barley too, I believe, as, as, as part of it. Oh, we don't want, we're not gonna bail the straw, I don't think. We'll just, we'll just throw it down. We're not gonna bail it, I don't think. I'm not trying to create a ton of work for myself. We have no goals as far as how much money we have to, what in the world? No, I want that. There we go, beautiful. We have no goals as far as how much money we have to make or anything like that, so we're just gonna, get on here we're gonna have some fun we're gonna try to build up our farm as we always do i mean that's always the goal of a game like this is to have a successful farm so we can invest in some livestock we may even use some of this barley actually to feed some chickens maybe and get some egg production going that'd be kind of fun to do that i'm just gonna get some of this cut out here cut back down into here so we could just set a worker off and see how bad they do that's definitely a possibility um, or we could do some headlands here. Well, no, we'll see because I want to get someone that's hire a worker Let's just see and it's already going south, but uh We'll let them do their thing and we'll see how they how bad they end up. Um, let's go ahead and hop back to uh, If you guys want me to walk back and forth to stuff, I can do that as well I'm gonna jump this time just for the time saving efforts, but let me know what you guys care about It's a big old tractor. Can we use a smaller one? We do have a smaller one, don't we? Yeah, we have a little New Holland over here. What do we have in the store here? Got to learn all of our equipment. Uh, you have 125, 210. Yeah, let's use a smaller tractor because I think that'll pull the... Yeah, that guy right there. No problem. That'll pull that. No problem at all. Okay. Let's see what we want to plant here. Let's go hook up to our cedar and see if we have... We're going to need some seeds probably as well. Um, I don't know if we have any seed tanks or anything like that around here. Gosh, the lighting on this map is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is such a, a gorgeous map. I couldn't, I don't think I could have not played on it. I mean, it's just, there's so much to it. Even if it's just to have a little fun, I would, I'd hate myself if I didn't, if I didn't end up playing on this. All right, we are going to need some seed, aren't we? We don't probably own any of that. If we go actually into the, into here. No, into vehicles. Yeah, we don't own any seed pallets. Okay, um, well, let's go ahead and buy some. I'm not running any pallet packs either, so we're just going to have to buy them at the regular price. Oh, I, gosh, I love that the store menu's in here. Um, we'll buy we'll buy just a couple pallets of those. Um, and then get out of there. Can this guy do fertilizer as well? This guy can. Let's buy, let's buy ourselves some fertilizer as well from the store. Um, yeah, we have to get through here, don't we? Yeah, solid fertilizer, because I don't think there's a pallet for fertilizer. Nope, it's been so long. Um, okay, we'll buy... Oop, nope, 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 not that guy. This guy right here. We'll buy two of those. A little bit pricey. Jeez, I'm so used to paying way less for fertilizer. 
That might be actually why we need to get some cows going just to produce some slurry and manure so we can spread it around. That might be a good option for us. Um, okay, where is the store at? <laughs> I did the map tour this morning. That doesn't mean I know where anything's at. The shop is way down there. Um, gosh, this is going to be tricky the way we're going to be doing this, isn't it? This is going to be tricky without mods. I'm going to have to stay super creative here. So, okay. We got some options here. I think... To start, we're just going to drive this down to the store, and I'm just going to fill it up that way. But we're going to need to get something to load stuff up and bring it back to the farm. We just, we're just going to have to. Um, I think that's the fastest way to get out there. It's not too far away, quite honestly. We just have to drive all the way around all of our fields. Um, and this cedar is not necessarily the best for going around. It is a direct drill, and I mean, it's what we got, so we're going to use it. But uh, it's maybe not the best. All right, so what I am going to do, I'm going to drive down to the store. I'm going to pick up some seeds and fertilizer, and I'll bring you back in when I'm getting ready to start our field. All right, we're back. So I did get the cedar filled up and put on that field there, but we need to go unload the combine. Right as I got the cedar to that field, um, the combine said they were full. So let's grab our trailer here. Actually, I think this tractor is a better option anyways to do this. Yeah, that's a fairly large trailer we have, the bandit there. Which is really nice, actually, to start off with something that large. And we do have uh, field 36 is a grass field. We do have a mower, so we, I wouldn't mind making some, again, making some grass bales and turning those into silage bales and doing some of that. So that might be something we look at doing in the next episode. But uh, let's get this guy out and get the combine unloaded. Oh, and do we have, we have crops in the silo, don't we, starting off? Yeah, right off the bat we have all this stuff. I always forget that new farmer, you got all that. So um, we can even do some pigs even and start feeding them different crops. But uh, kind of depends on what we want to do. But I think we'll probably... I mean, pigs are great because they make a lot of manure, but I don't think we have... We don't have any pigs built into the farm. Matter of fact, I know we don't. We have chickens there, we have cows there, and we have sheep there. So sheep are easy to do. Um, honestly, they just are. But cows would be a good way to start making some manure and slurry since fertilizer is fairly expensive. So that would be a good way to, for us to save some money. And I know we can sell it at the BGA on this map. Highlight that. Um, I know we can, for, but it's... Uh, 360 is not too bad, actually. 287 for slurry, but... I think for us, it might be worth more as fertilizer, or at least we might want to try to do that instead, which I think would be a good option. So anyhow, let's get this guy out to the combine to get her unloaded. I actually am enjoying too on this map, this is a good one to drive in cab because it looks so beautiful from inside. I don't do a ton of uh, in cab driving, but uh, if you guys want to see more of it, let me know. This is a good series for me to do it on. I think, but we'll get down there and we'll see if we can't get the uh, harvester unloaded. He didn't, I looked off in the distance. He didn't seem to be doing too terrible. And this field, is that one? What's in this field? Oh, I'm crashing. Let me just, we'll take a look at it. Let's get the harvester unloading and then we'll take a look at that to see uh, what's kind of in that field there. And let me know too, as far as episode length, what you guys want to see. Again, I don't know exactly what it's going to end up being. Uh, right now, I would say 30 to 40 minute episodes would probably be what would be likely. But um, again, I just can't. Oh, I want to go that way. Whoops. Hopefully there's no one behind me. I can't see anything. Okay. Drive up into here. And we will cut into here, hopefully. Not hitting too much. Right down there, perfect. And the pipes on the outside. Oh, that train in the back. I didn't even see that train when we did the mod review. I looked at a different one. That's right, I forgot there was two on here. Gosh, missed one. <laughs> That's okay, there you see it now. Oh, fantastic. Beautiful. Okay, but yeah, let's look in the map here. So what, 36 is grass, obviously. Does field one have anything in it? No, I think it's just doesn't even say cultivated, though, or growing. It's just empty with nothing or anything growing in it. doesn't... I mean, we can go, I guess, take a look at it as well. Well, you're unloading. You're going to be unloading for a little bit. Let's go. just go jump over there and take a look. We'll walk up this way. Very easy access to the train tracks. Got to watch out for that. The BGA is right there. We just need to build a bridge over, and we'll be right there. <laughs> Obviously, won't do that. We'll drive around, but uh, I guess that... That doesn't go across over to there. That's probably the fastest way still is heading up and over and around there. 
Now we might switch farms at some point. That's a very real possibility. We might switch out just to try a different farm as well. If there's any farm you think we should try out, let me know. Let me know what fields it's around or what fields it's by so I know which one you're talking about. And obviously a farm name if it has one on there, but uh, give me some good clues because that way I can make sure I figure it out. What do you got? Needs plowing, needs lime owned by me. It's it's weird because it has, it looks like it has like a, a seeded state, but there's nothing in it apparently. But it needs plowing and it needs lime. Uh, does this field need... This one needs this one needs plowing and lime? That doesn't make any sense. It says plowed. Well, if that's the case, yeah, we probably should get that taken care of then first, huh? Well, we'll go without plowing this time around. I think that'll be fine. We're not in it to make a ton of money anyway, so we'll, we'll just go for it uh, for the time being and see how it kind of goes about. But uh, yeah, we'll get some of that in that field here. Off the fence here without cutting myself on the barbed wire, but... And they're doing good on this one so far. We can get lime still thrown out on that as well after we get the seed put out, so we can still get lime done. But uh, yeah, extended crop destruction. I love that it still destroys it on the field there. Gosh, great detail. Awesome, 8,600 liters of barley so far. We should get quite a few. I don't know why I necessarily had to hop in this, but I guess we'll just drive it back up to the top of the field while we're in it. And then we'll get something planted in the field next door here. Gosh, the lighting on this, seriously. This map is beautiful. Gosh, it makes me want to really go to this place. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. That'll be fine there. We'll get all this stuff squared away in a second as well. Okay. So wheat, barley, oats, canola, sun or soy, uh, soy mean grass, cuttable hedge, linseed. What is linseed? Let's go back to linseed. Don't know what linseed is or what it looks like. Um, how can we harvest it? Actually, is kind of an important question. Is it something to be done with a grain header? Yes, it is. Okay, we could probably do that. Let's do that. We don't even need to know what it is. How much is it paying out in the store? Is it going to be a high yield or low yield? Normally, you kind of can tell in here. Linseed. Okay, so it's probably a similar like wheat or barley. Probably what it's going to be on that. Yeah, we'll go ahead and plant some of that. I do want to do some onions and carrots as well, but maybe not in this big of a field. Um, okay, let's go ahead and... This is a direct drill, actually, that we have here. So if we didn't want to plow that field next door, we could just go right over it with this. For the longest time, when I started out my No Man's Land series, I had the same cedar, and I just kept forgetting that it was a direct drill. Oh, man. But anyhow, <laughs> it all worked out. Yeah, we'll start upgrading some equipment soon, but I think I want to save up some money first. Start getting the fuel for the land since we have some equipment here and plenty of stuff to get going with farming. But I'm not doing a very good job at sticking to the edge of this field. I guess that's probably okay, though. We don't have to hit it perfectly. Head up this way, do maybe a couple passes around the field, and then I can let a worker probably carry on. Actually, going back and well, going back and forth this way, I'd probably run into the trees a little bit. Up and down that way, it's going to hit the island at some point, but overall, it's not too bad of a field, I suppose. <laughs> Just got to work with what you got. That's what farmers do in the real world. They work with what they got. They don't always get perfectly square, perfectly even fields and everything. But, uh, yeah. There we go, going up this side now. Yeah, I'm looking forward to how this series is going to go. Don't know how long it's going to go, but I'm looking forward to it. Worst case scenario, I figured is only a few people could watch it, or maybe no one could watch it, but at least I would enjoy putting it together. So, and I think that if you're on YouTube, that's kind of the approach you have to have. You can't be upset if no one watches, you know? It just is what it is. Oop. Keep trying to look that way, but again, I have the vehicle collisions. Yeah, but we're getting going. We'll get some linseed out on here and get that planted. Maybe even be harvesting it in the next episode. I don't know what it's going to look like or anything like that, but we will uh, just have to keep rolling with it. And up this way, once we get all the way around here, I probably should do three or four passes maybe around the field. 
before I let a worker carry on. I mean, we're going to be out of seed pretty quick. And that's the other thing, too. Another option we have is we probably will buy a seed tender. It holds 8,000 liters of seed or fertilizer. I think we actually, we're going to probably have to invest in one. I think we're going to need one. We should be able to load our seeder on the field with it. So let's go ahead and... I know I said we weren't going to invest in a bunch of equipment, but that's really kind of the cheapest option. I mean, we could do, like, something bigger. Like, that's actually a decent one there, 19,000. But I think just to start out, I think just running the, the seed the seed runner here, I think that'll just be... I think that's just what we need. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and just invest in that. I think that'll be worth it. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do that. It's strange it added it on there look at that they already popped the thing out because i got the seeds there i mean we used barely what we had at the store but this thing i was i'm going to be running back and forth to the store constantly which isn't too big of a deal but this thing is a little too wide for the road so i'm hoping that thing will fit a little bit better with it being a trailer i can send the uh, massey down there to pick it up uh, in between loads that it's doing unloading the harvester over there and again yeah i mean i know what the harvester's missing bits i knew we'd have to go through and uh fix it up and uh, kind of, you know, pick up the edges and the pieces and stuff like that, but that's not too big of a deal, I don't think. I'm doing a lot of overlap, though. I probably don't need to be doing that much overlap. I mean, I want to do a little bit because I don't want to miss spots, but I uh, probably don't have to have that much where I'm wasting that much seed. Nearly a full tank. You're doing good. <laughs> Yeah, we might get chickens going. I think that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll throw some chickens in this episode and get them to start producing some eggs for us. Part of me wanted to run this on seasons. Like, honestly, I did, but I think... I don't know. I could. I could still jump into seasons, but I think I'll keep it without seasons for now. I mean, let me, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I can always switch it. We're not that far into it. Um, but I, th I think I'm going to run it without seasons, I think, just to keep it as simplified as possible, because I'd be adding another mod in, and we're still slowly going to be complicating it more and more, which I somehow seem to do on my series, but I want to try to keep this one just kind of very basic, simple, easy to follow, not a ton going on. We're just doing some stuff. I'm not going to do subscriber contracts on the series either, so um, just to keep it simple. But uh, yeah. But again, if you want to give me subscriber contracts on No Man's Land, we're knocking those babies out left and right, so please give them to me on there. I'm happy to take those on there, but uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and... And I think as well, this will be a good series to stream on as well. So I'll probably do some streams of this um, as we're going through. Probably one stream of Willamina Forest a week and then one stream of uh, Tellington Valley a week. I think that'll be a good way to go about it. I think that'll be a good mix, a good blend, and probably switch back and forth on either Mondays or Wednesdays, what uh, day I do each stream. Well, maybe I'll do Willamina on Mondays. That seems to work out pretty good, and then do uh, Chellington on Wednesdays, and then I'll probably put an episode of Shellington Valley out on maybe Tuesday as well. And I think if I keep it this simple, I probably can put out several episodes a week, I think, without any issues, because it doesn't really take a whole lot of time for me to put this together, which is good. But I mean, also, I'm not afraid to put in more time if, if I need to to make an episode better, which we probably will come to a point where some of that has to be done or stuff has to be done off camera. But overall, I think we can do most of this on here. And again, if we don't make a ton, we're not going to make necessarily a ton of progress every episode, which I think is I think that's going to be OK. I know I normally feel like I have to make a ton of progress every episode, but uh, I think I need to kind of get back into a different mindset of where we're just on here, we're having fun, we're farming, and you're welcome to come along if you want to, and I just missed a strip over there. That's okay, though. Our fields aren't going to be perfect because I'm the one doing them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is fun. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. I hope you guys do, too, as well. Uh, but, again, this is just kind of a pilot, a test run, if you will, to see how this goes. I think that's probably... Yeah, they're full over there, so let's go ahead and... Just get a worker off on this. I know the worker's going to ham it up already partway down the field, but we'll just get them going on it and see how they do. We can always, again, we'll fill in the pieces they miss later on. All right, and let's hop back over. Actually, I can just hop out. I don't know what I'm doing hopping into there. Just walk through the bushes here. Jump over here and grab this guy, get him unloaded. Probably get another two or three loads off of here, actually. She should be able to fit it all in this trailer. That'd be nice if we didn't have to empty this, but I'm actually gonna dump that trailer there while he unloads, and we're gonna go pick up the seed tender. Now, I have used the seed tender in the past, and I have it, it had issues with it, so I'm hoping I don't have those. Sometimes this screen, the F11 screen, has some conflicts, as you've seen in some of my videos. 
um, with doing stuff with that. But if that's the case, then I'll just take the F11 menu out and then when I need to take a thumbnail shot, I will just put the F11 menu on or I will save the game, load out, put the F11 menu on, load in, take the thumbnail shot and then load back out. I can always do that. So that's not that big of a deal. Oh, on the wrong side of the road, I apologize. For you drivers in the UK or any country where you drive on the left side of the road, as I learned, there are several of them out there. But for me, it just seems to be the norm, which just makes sense that you drive on the, uh, the right side of the road, which actually I'm going to hop in the cab. There's a lot of trees and stuff out and about. This will just make it a little bit easier, I think, to drive down this way. But yeah, it's not too bad of a drive down to the store. I mean, and we're just heading down this way. We head under the railroad here and then we're at we have all these cell points really close to the farm and the animal dealers over here, which I'm going to try not to transport or I'm going to try not to. Uh, I'm going to try not to have any animals delivered to the farm. I'm going to try to transport them. Obviously, chickens are an exception. I don't have any mods to deliver chickens, but all the other animals I'm going to try to transport myself. I mean, horses might be a good one to do on here, but if we do do horses on here, I'm not going to use the horse helper mod or anything like that. We're just going to do all the work ourselves. So horses are an option for sure. All right, let's go ahead and hook up to this bad boy. Now there are two capacities on here. Yeah, okay, we can. We can put fertilizer in one and then we can put seed in the other, I believe. I could be wrong about that and this could go very far south. I haven't used this a ton. There we go, okay, yep, it's doing it automatically for me. That's good. Beautiful, okay, everything's working out so far right now. Let's see how much seed this ends up giving us. This is actually quite a bit of seed. Again, there's more seed than fertilizer in those pallets or more more seed in a seed pallet than there is in a fertilizer pallet because fertilizer you're buying in the big bags okay i think what we'll do is we'll buy um let's buy just two more bags of fertilizer we're probably not going to use a ton of it but we'll just buy a couple more bags of it Load that one up, and then we'll be able to head back to the farm. Should close up on its own. There we go. Well, we'll close it up then. See, I have, I've had, <laughs> I've had some glitches and some issues with this. So, oh, I am hoping the best. Oh, we'll see how it goes. This could just be a terrible mistake and a, a waste of twenty thousand dollars, but we'll make do with what we got. We'll make it work as best we can. Yeah, this thing is much, much better fitted to the road than what we had before. So I think this will be a good investment overall for us. Yeah, we'll probably wrap up the episode here in a few minutes. Get up here and see how everything's going and wrap it up. I think that's what we'll do. And when you guys come back, I'll probably try to finish uh, the barley harvest off camera and I might try to do or finish uh, seeding that field off camera and maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll even plow the other field but we'll see how it goes I should be able to drive right by this guy without worrying about getting in a collision we've already been in several collisions in, the, in our first episode with cars some of which were off camera but <laughs> Oh, anyhow. All right, we'll just pull right on to right over here. We don't want to drive necessarily too much on the seed bed there if we can avoid it. But he's just stopped completely, hasn't he? Yep. He went around. That guy's driving clear up the hill over there. Yeah, he went around and did that. That's okay. He wanted to clean that mess up. All right. I think that's where we're going to wrap it up. If you guys enjoyed this episode, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you all for coming and watching. And again, please let me know what you guys want to see in this series, or if you just hate the series, you can let me know that as well. <laughs> but anyhow, thank you all for coming and watching.